Hey, what's going on? This is Engineer Mojo. Today we're going to talk about the importance of ordering regions within your MathCAD sheet and why it's important to have a good and proper layout when you're developing your equations in your sheets. So as always, go to the top left, click New Sheet. New Sheet will populate with a blue cursor telling you the insertion point for your new region or math region. We'll type in this, this text box real quick. Ordering regions. So to tell you what I mean by this, we're going to assign some variables. and Or I should say we're going to define some variables. And I've shown you this on a prior tutorial that you can check out if you look at the card above. But we're going to set A and we're going to find A as 5. We're going to click out. We're going to define A again. We're going to define A as 2. And then we're going to find A one more time as 4A. So now right over here I'm going to evaluate A in a region that's just to the right of this variable right here that's defined. So A equals 5. Now you see here I have A defined three different ways. So as you see now A equals 5. And that's because anything to the right and below this defined variable it's going to make a equals 5 until you redefine the variable. So I can move this down one grid line and it's still a equals 5. Now the moment I move this down to this grid line right below where a is defined as 2, this value of a will change. And this is how MathCAD keeps up with what you're producing in your, in your sheet and kind of helps you organize your sheet so that um, you don't end up with too many variables in wrong places and assigning values that shouldn't be assigned. So now as you see, if so I move it down one more, it's still A equals 2. I move it down again, now A equals 8. And this is basically taking the value of A equals 2 and then it's redefining A as 4 times the first A. So you'll have 8. And you can play around with this within MathCAD and kind of see how MathCAD uses the regions within your sheet and the placement of the regions to evaluate and define variables. And this is a very useful tool when developing equations. Also something that needs to be paid attention to because you can make a mistake as well if you do this. Now this only applies to when you're defining a, a variable locally. If you define a global variable then you don't have this issue. And I showed you that technique in a prior tutorial that you can see in the top right. And I'll put a card there for you to click if you want to see that tutorial on global variables. But as I said before, just play around with this and any questions please comment down below. If you like it, please like. As always, please share. I always like to hear back from you guys. Thanks.